does. And if I remember the television show on PBS, Caillou, it's a show about a little kid who goes to all these places and deals with real life situations. There was an unaired episode that was so fucked up, I had to tell someone. I'm wondering, how do I know this unaired episode? Well, I used to work at PBS Studios. There was a man who was a lead animator for a Kai special, which was supposed to revive the struggling franchise in 2008. His name was Daniel. He would work day after day in an isolated room, designing a special that would blow our minds, as he said. He indeed blew our minds, but not in an amazed way, in a sick, twisted way. One day, he rounded up the cast and the crew of the show to watch his final product, he gave us two DVDs and then left for unknown reasons. We put the first DVD in to see our guaranteed masterpiece of an episode. If only we knew what would befall. The first DVD started, it had a normal theme song for Caillou, and it brought back memories of past episodes for me. The title card appeared and it said, Family Secrets. The episode began with Caillou in a hospital, and his father was sitting beside him in a rocking chair. Our first look at Caillou was horrifying. He was on life support and he looked pale, somewhat in a ghost-like form. He had a bandage on the right side of his face. He was doing a mix of coughing and crying. He then asked his father a question. Daddy, why would she do that to us? His father answered, I don't know, son. I just, the tape kept looping. I, 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 I. And then I went to a shot of their house in the flashback, I presumed. Caillou's mom was in the kitchen cooking something when her husband walked in with a depressed and somewhat scary look. He had dark rings around his eyes and had no eyebrows. He was sobbing. He said to his wife, the results came back from the hospital. Caillou has brain cancer. He then started sobbing. It wasn't your typical cartoon sobbing, but more realistic and depressing. But somehow his wife seemed unfazed. Was she in shock? She let she just left the room and began dusting around the house. She noticed her husband's wallet on the table in the living room. Inside of it, she saw a used condom that had semen drizzling from it. It prompted the man next to me to say, "What the hell?" Inside the wallet, there was a phone number that belonged to Miss Martin, Caillou's preschool teacher. Kai Funk confronted her husband, who was still sobbing, and slapped him across the face with the condom. He stopped sobbing and then picked up the throw at her, but it missed and stuck to the wall. This is when the confrontation started. What the fuck is this? Kai's mom said. I don't know, said his father. Yes, you do, you mad whore. It's not like I get any from you anymore since you had those fucking kids. I told you to abort them. Hell, I would have shut a vacuum cleaner into your pussy to get them out of there, but no, you wouldn't let me, you stupid bitch. Kai's mother began to sob. She put her hands over her eyes, but her sobs didn't sound cartoon-like at all. They sounded like they were legitimate, as if something depressed had ha- had happened. Meanwhile, Caillou's dad went over to the crock pot that she had on the stove. He slammed it on the ground, and their cat Gilbert fell out. The argument continued. What the hell is this, you crazy slut? Oh, I'm a slut? You are the one sleeping with our son's teacher, Snover said. Excuse me? If I think he has ADHD or some shit like that, he would never pass normally, so I became a teacher and taught Miss Martin reading, writing, and sucking my dick. You're a monster. Yeah, you're a cunt. Now live with it. Kai's power ended the argument with that. We were all in shock by what we just heard. One of the other men began to look for Daniel. Kai's mom lifted her hands from her face and her eyes were blood red. She took a knife from the kitchen and stormed past her husband and ran out the door. Down the stair, stairs came Kai and Rosie. They said, Daddy, why are you and Mommy yelling? He responded by saying, because your mother has lost her mind. The next scene was Kai's mother busting the door, opened the door of the preschool. Miss Martin saw her red eyes and she said, oh shit. Kai's mom saw the kids around her. She ordered them to line up against the wall, Miss Martin included. The first one to go is Leo. He was stabbed in the back and he had his spine ripped out. His guts fell from his back into a pile of steam lines above it. 
to no one on staff Clementine, I'm not Xavier. She then went to Miss Martin and cut her head off and ripped her vaginal tubes open. She then put her severed head inside of it. We were all terrified at this point. Most of the crew did too. There were only there only were two other people, me. Kai's mom went back to the house. Kai's dad were in the basement, but Rosie wasn't there. She went into her room to sleep. Kai's mom went upstairs and saw her daughter sleeping. She then put a pillow over her head and suffocated her. Rosie was dead. And that cut to an intermission that had the puppets from the original seasons. But we all saw them do it was really fucked up. Rex see the blue dinosaur because I mean butt sex with Teddy for five whole minutes until Dee Dee the squirrel came in, came up with a chainsaw. The screen faded black with screams of terror and sounds of a chainsaw. We went back to the show. Caillou's mom slaughtered his grandparents was wearing the face of Caillou's grandma as a mask. I almost shit myself. The cops roughly showed up and tried to put Caillou's mom in handcuffs, but she stabbed an officer in the throat and began to eat him. Another officer took out a double barrel shotgun to the top of her face off. <clears throat> that cut to a picture of Caillou's mom's head blown off, but the bottom half remained there. Her tongue was sopping out of her head, and her eyes could be seen in all the mess. And that cut to a fraction of a second of words on the screen. He went around the DVD, paused it, and said, I'm coming for you, crazy bitch. And then was back to the hospital. Caillou was having surgery to remove the tumor from his body. They had to take his right eye out, and then the tumor was going to be taken out of the body. The medical equipment they used was also dirty, so the eye was infected. And then come back to the original scene, and Caillou's dad was still saying, I, 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 your fucking eye! His eye was deformed and grotesque beyond belief. He rushed towards Caillou, but the medical staff came to stop him. He was near a window. I can't take it anymore. Why am I going to kill my spirit? And now I'm going to die with it. He jumped out of the window and fell to his death. Caillou then took its last breath and passed away. The DVD ended. We took the DVD and the unwatched one, which said Family Secrets commentary on it, and threw him in the garbage. We later found out that Daniel murdered his wife, but was never found. Only clarified that the DVDs are not destroyed, and they are still out there somewhere. If you see any DVD with Family Secrets or Family Secrets commentary on it, do not watch them. For the love of God, do not watch them.